Okay, today we're going to talk about uh, chromatic aberration and an easy fix on how to get rid of it. Um, I learned this trick from my friend Doug. Um, anyways, let's get to it. Well, you're going to want to bring your image into Photoshop, the one that has the problem. Um, here I'll zoom in and show you what the chromatic aberration looks like. Usually it's in like high contrast areas um, and it's usually like a purple fringe. It can be blue, um, green, red. And as you can see right here on the wire of the cookie or the cooling rack you can see a little purple around this highlight. Um, it's very undesirable. So what you want to do is duplicate the layer by pushing Control J on Windows or Command J on Mac. Make sure that you have that layer selected and you want to go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur and usually somewhere between 11 and 18 usually works. Um, 15 usually is about the best. Um, and then when you're done with that, you'll want to go over to your blending modes and you will want to change the blend mode to color. And as you can see, that got rid of the purple fringe. But for me, my tastes, it's a little too much to just leave it this way. So, is what you'll want to do is create a layer mask by alt-clicking the layer mask to give you a to give you the layer mask and then select your brush and make sure that your foreground color is white. Remember white reveals and black conceals. And then just paint over the problem areas. And that's pretty much it. And as you can see, it gets rid of it. It's not overly done. And you can just hit the spots that really need it. Um, at the end of this, I'm going to add a tutorial on how to write an action so that all you have to do is push a button to set all of this up for all of your images so you don't have to go through and do all this stuff every single time. Um, thanks again for watching and I hope this was helpful. Okay here's the part on how to create an action so that all you have to do is push one button and it will set up your picture file to just go ahead and start editing for the chromatic aberration. So let's go ahead and get started. First off is what you're going to want to do is go over to the Actions palette and click on the right side upper here and create New Action and then you'll want to go ahead and rename your action when the dialog box pops up. Name it something that you'll remember. I'm going to put CA Settings. Then go ahead and click Record. And then is what you're going to want to do is go ahead and just go through the steps. So Control J or Command J on a Mac to go ahead and duplicate the layer. Go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. Go ahead and set your um, radius. Click OK. Um, go ahead and do your blending modes and ch change it to color. And then Alt click on the Add a Mask layer. And then you can stop here if you want. And so then it's all you got to do is the little play button to the right of the stop button there. You just select that and it will set everything up. But you can actually take this um, a step further by go ahead and selecting record again. Go over and make sure that your background colors are set to default. And then go ahead and select the paintbrush and then stop. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and show you that uh, this new action actually works. So, is what you'll want to do is just go ahead and over here in your actions palette, go ahead and select your action that you want to run. And then, if you click the play button, it runs through everything that you did. And as you can see, it made the layer mask and everything. 
over here the default colors are set to white and your brush is already set so and you can go ahead and start painting um, anyways I hope that this was helpful for somebody um, stay tuned I hope to do more tutorials in the very new f near future and thanks again for watching and that is all for River Rock Photos thanks again